Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Rogue in the Arena. We have three wins and two losses. We have not been doing too hot in Arena at the last little while, so hopefully we can win some games here and not have another short run. Okay, we got a one drop, we got a two drop. Mm, not really sure this is like the way that I want to go though. Like, we're definitely tossing that. Let's think about this. So, I mean, I could play that in turn 2 and then the coin that turn 4. I could play... I could even recombobulate. But then again, if I play this on turn 1, I could potentially just stack up on turn 2. That might be okay as well. Uh, save the coin for turn 3. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do this. I'll, okay. Well, not a Buccaneer. <laughs> We could even get like a, a free damage stack on turn two, like turn one, and then that plus. Co hmm, interesting. Well, it does give us some options. Let's uh, let's just do it this way. All right, legend card back here. Yeah, I think I just want to dagger up here. Oh wow, could end up like with a four damage stack with all of these combined if we. So decide. I think I'm gonna hold on to the coin. Yeah, let's just stack up here. I mean, we could. Yeah, and I stack up here. Kill that. And just go for the face. Okay. Right, that's what we'll do for now. Because I kind of want to have the option of playing a Yeti next turn. Right, okay, so now I'm not gonna play Yeti because I wanna kill this one eff effectively, which means we need the Auto Baba. So let's play that instead. And uh, kill that. So now I kinda wanna play the other Buccaneer. The problem is that he has four mana next turn. And I don't really wanna lose everything. Like, I don't wanna lose three minions. So you know what? Let's just keep this in the hand. It's also it's more like a of a tool minion, right? Because you can use it like as health of a deadly poison, basically. So let's keep it around, just because I don't want to give him that super consecration for turn four. That just doesn't seem good. Fan of knives, please? No. Okay. So now I think I want to play sludge ball just to protect our minions here. So let's go for that. Get the sludge bulger. Ah, we don't really have a good way of dealing with all this. I think it's best to just go for the face. Um, I'm happy we got the sludge budget though, because that does help protect uh, these minions. Allowing us to just go for the face here. Alright, alright. Assassin's Blade. Hmm. Not a pretty big Assassin's Blade. Like a 4-4. Four, four. We could just try and rush him down now. Like, if we can do 5, 8, 12, get him down to 9 life with a huge weapon equipped. Yeah, let's go for it and just hope he doesn't have an ooze. Is that, because if you have a fan of knives, we'll just do it and go for clearing the board. But since we don't, I think I would like to just kind of try and rush him down here. So we do this and take him down to nine. So he needs to play very carefully. We also have the Kraken. The problem is that he is a paladin, so he probably has some kind of healing. <laughs> yeah, speak of the devil. At least that's not a that doesn't give him any tempo boost. Okay. Oh, oh wow, are you kind of pleasing no hand of protection? Well, that doesn't seem that scary. Still like a fan of knives. Ah, it's becoming less useful. Alright. Hmm. Nothing of wisdom. We have seven. Take him down to eight. Oh, this could be useful. Uh, we could... We can populate this one so he doesn't... Give him cards. Ah, uh, but then we don't get the free damage in, but that's probably okay. Maybe now we should just play for board control, because, like, we have a huge card advantage. And, uh, 
Yeah, just not be so concerned about rushing him down now. That's probably fine. Let's just uh, do that then. We can bubbleate that. Uh, just in case it's like mix or mana rate or something. Let's just play this one first. And uh, we'll compopulate that. Well, that could be a lot better. <laughs> that couldn't really be much worse. I just didn't want to give him any cards now. When we have a nice card advantage, and he's pretty low on life, right? Didn't feel like there's any need to really risk just going all out for the face. However, this is not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, well, okay. So, yeah, and he has that annoying... Because hmm. if it's Noble Sacrifice... I hope it's not Noble Sacrifice. Let's, uh... Okay, it's not. Oh, but it's Avenge. Well, that's not any better. Oh. Uh, well, maybe, maybe just go for the face now then. Because uh, change of plan once again. We just keep changing our mind here. Uh, it's just now suddenly that Murloc Knight is ruining everything. But we can probably rush him down. We can do four plus four. That's eight. He's already at eleven. We can't do that next turn, but the turn after. I'm sure he gets some Murlocs, but if we just go for the face. And thankfully, this time he didn't get like the best possible Murloc. So that's nice. Not on my like even with a great turn last time for him, I think we're still fine. Oh, now we can uh, Blood Knight here. Okay, so we have... Not quite lethal, but really close. I think we're just gonna Blood Knight first. And... Uh, okay, and then, uh, I would like to take him into kill range, should we? Okay, so how much? He has 10, 12, 13, 14, 9, I just, just in case something goes bad, I don't want to... Should we just go for the face? And then if he heals and clears the board or something. I kinda wanna get rid of that thing. Okay, you know what? Let's get rid of it. Uh yeah, I think this is fine. Just in case he had was able to like clear the board and heal up and stuff. Like, I think we're fine, but I just don't want to suddenly lose to, by doing something stupid. Okay, you have a bunch of Kodos, that's fine. We're just gonna kill you. Okay. Right. And we don't even need cards, I don't think. Yeah, okay. And we also have the Kraken, of course. Good! Well, I feel like we were winning the entire time, but he just kept doing things that made me a little nervous. Thankfully, we did win in the end, like we were supposed to. Alright. Let's see if we can uh, win another one and get up to five. It'll just I don't like being one loss away from... Uh, being out. Always a little nerve-wracking. So, not really excited about these cards. Not versus a priest. Like, or anyone really. Farseer. Meh. 
Let's look for a two drop. Hmm. Okay, that's a lot better. I do like those turn one buccaneers versus classes that don't have a hero power that deals one damage. Versus like a rogue though, for example, it's terrible, but versus a priest? Hey, that works, right? Because then like if you play a free two, you can just stack up and kill it. That's really the weakness with this card, is just the fact that there are so many classes that have that hero power. Uh, let's just play the ooze and hope we get a good free drop. Let's do this. Because we could potentially have a very strong curve here, like 4, 5, or that, in case, you know, he plays a Death Lord or something. Okay, that totally works in our favor, because then we just stack her up and kill it. I wonder if he even thought about that, because this is just, like, that doesn't work for him at all. I think it would probably have been better to just heal himself. That <laughs> served, like, no purpose. Well, I guess it did stop me from playing, like, a better feed up. I guess he could know that I didn't have one, but still pretty unappealing turn for him. Uh, Alright, so we just played that and let's just kill that one and uh, go for the face. Keep the weapon around for now. Because we probably want to play a 5 drop next turn. Alright. Hmm. Almost, but not quite. Hmm. Well, we can't really deal with that one so well. We could play that. It's just like I need to run everything into it if we don't play this one. If I play this one... Saving that. Play this, we get a pit fighter. Play this, we also... You know what, I kind of like this. The problem is, that's really weak to Holy Nova, and turn 5 is coming up. Yeah, everything would die, this one included. Alright, so let's just do... Um... This. And then play Pit Fighter, simply because I don't want to lose everything to Holy Nova. On turn 5, no less, right? It would be like the perfect mana play for him. Um, right. Death Lord, come on. No, not Shadow Word Death. Uh, that's not what I meant by death. Jerk. Alright. Ah, uh, Stomp Park Commando. Why not? Let's uh, clear the board here. Go for the face. Good. Very good. Oh, we'll finish it off with attacker next turn. As long as he doesn't do give it any buff. Don't buff it. Don't buff it. Oh, I guess if he buffs the life, that's okay. Then we can just code over it. Uh, hmm. right. That's a little annoying. Uh, we need to get rid of that. We cannot ignore it. Which means... Dagger up to kill that. Play this. Then uh, just trade here. Don't want it to get buffed any further. Those kind of cards can just get out of hand very quickly. Is that what you're gonna do? No? No smite? Okay. Well, that makes me happy. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, we don't have a good way of dealing with it, but just the fact that we still have this one alive for now uh, makes me happy. So... Unfortunately, we could set ourselves up for that really nasty holding over again, if you're not careful. Hmm. So I think because of that, I might want to trade here, just to not 
give him that option. Because we're gonna end up playing a bunch of stuff with two life here. I'm not gonna play the code though, so... Mm. Oh, at least we can play the Kraken next time. Yeah, look at this. This is not... Nope, not gonna risk it. Let's just kill that. Go for the face and... Uh, and we'll back up. Gonna hold on to this one for now. I mean, that's just another... Just asking for trouble, right? Also, I'd rather play it on the same turn as I... Under, like, take advantage of the plus two attack on the turn I play it. I know it's permanent, but... Uh, I think you can figure out why I would want to do that. Alright. Mm. Oh, God, that's pretty weak. I feel like he's had a lot of weak turns, but he's still quite alive. Alright, so let's uh, just do that, and I'll get rid of this one too. And just go for the face. Uh, yeah. Okay. Don't shadow word death. Don't do it. Please don't. Don't big game hunt it either for that matter. I know that's less likely. Ah, yeah, I guess that's why it would be even more upsetting if he did it. Come on. Let us get to five wins. I mean, otherwise how are we going to get to the six wins that I predicted? Oh, you have your own Kraken. Okay. Popular guy. Uh... Hmm. Can't really deal with it very effectively. Hmm. Nah. Not the word we're compopulating it right now. I mean, we could just try and kill that. And then keep our... Yeah, because he doesn't have a good way of dealing with our Kraken. So let's uh, do that. Do that. And... What you want. Just do... I mean... Could also just go for the face, of course, but... 6, 15, 16... We just don't have a finisher. We don't even have any eviscerates in the deck or anything like that. Let's just uh, do this. And uh, go for the face. Here we go. And so let's just end turn. Because I'm kind of holding this one, like this option open. Like, no, why am I? Maybe I should just have used it on the Lance Carrier right now. I mean, we're getting so close here. And we can refill the hand anyway. Oh, wow, another big one. Yeah, you know what? I think I should just have played every combo play the last turn. Setting up for lethal, right? It's, nah. it's no big deal, though. It's fine, we're fine. Let's just go for the face, and we almost got him. Let's do that. That. That, and then let's just play the Yeti. Maybe we'll get a charge minion. Not quite. Okay. Looking fairly good, I would say. <laughs> Silly show. All right. I mean, hope. Wonder could he get anything? I guess he could get a Sunwalker, and then he could potentially stay alive. All right. Okay, very nice. Let's uh, play another game and see if we can get up to those six wins. And hey, if we can get up to like eight or twelve, as some other people predicted, I'm okay with that as well. But for now, let's see if we can get to six. 
so far our all the my perceived weakness of turn three and four haven't really come like into fruition. So overall, well, we did lose two games, so I guess we shouldn't talk too highly of the deck either. Well, or maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just me playing bad. All right, let's see if we can get some um, nice early minions here. Yeah? Sure. Could be. Could be a lot worse. Ah, uh, that's the whole like we have such a strong turn five, right? But we need to make it to turn five. I wish I had more than just an ooze. I mean, an ooze is not really what I want to play on turn two versus a row. Kind of like to have them around for later, but yeah. Okay, so let's play the recomb rec later for now. I mean, who knows? He might play Darker Deadly here, and then we can ooze it. So, wanna keep that option open. Maybe we'll draw. Oh, don't, don't. Okay, good. That would have been uh, really nasty. Well, I would have been fairly lucky to kill it, I would say. So, shouldn't expect that to happen. Now. Time for a change. Really? I mean, do I really want to play the ooze here? The thing is, I don't even have a good play for next turn, so I think I would rather just dagger up here. And, uh, end turn. Like, if I had a 4-drop, I think I might have played the ooze. But I think I might want to play the ooze next turn. We don't really have many good ways of... Here we go. Ah, don't like. It. I mean, I don't really have any. I don't have deadly poison or anything in the deck. We do have a Baba, but we don't have it in the hand. I was just thinking whether I should save the knife, but I think that's more relevant when you have cards, more cards to buff it. Ah, this is no good. This is what I was talking about. Does we turn three and four? Ah. <sighs> Hmm. So many options. Do we really have that many options? I don't. I'm not gonna play the ooze here either because the ooze will just die to the two one. Instead, I'll do this and then we can finish that one off next turn without dagger while we play a pit fighter. Or of course, it's the beating Kodo if he plays another two drop. That uh, we want to get oh, to attack minion. I mean, hungry dragon. Hmm. Okay, it could be a lot worse. Uh, we can deal with that fairly well. I'm mean, just play a pit fighter. When we kill that, and now we can finally play our five drops. Unfortunately, we can only play a five drop on. I mean, Fire Drop is not that amazing on turn 6, but at least we got some decent stuff. And I think this is probably one of the best things we could have gotten from that Hungry Dragon. So, won't complain there. Okay. Probably finish that off with Storm Pike Commando. I don't really want to take 5 damage. Huh. Hmm. Might be nice to get it with this one in the future. Kodo doesn't really do anything. Like, what could we do here? I think it's gonna be Stormpike Commando and then a Buccaneer. Alright. And I think I'll just go for the face. Okay. And I hope we can have some minions alive next turn. Next turn. Ah, that hurts. Mm. Okay. So... Hmm, that's not good at all. What do we do? I mean, this one... I mean, sure we can buff this one up, but that doesn't really help that much. 
the Kodos are not that great right now. Uh, nothing really works so well. I think we just gotta play the Yeti. And I think I'll just play the Ooze here. Yeah, okay. And then we hoped, I really hope to get like a strong turn, like f four mana card here that we can play together with one of our five drops. Fortunately, well, I hope oh, if you have two minions alive, then Mookla's champion might be pretty decent. Let's see. That is a little scary though. At least he can't necessarily control it. Okay. Assassin's Blade. Ah, uh, that's... I mean, then we have two 5 drops. Doesn't really work that well. We can play this plus stack up, but... Doesn't really... Achieve that much. Let's uh, maybe we should kill that. Maybe if we get something we want a Kodo? Or maybe we get Doomsayer. Maybe we get Amos Smith. Okay, let's Kodo that. And then we said that we didn't really have anything good to play together with the Kodo. So back up. And then go for the face. And then just hope that this one uh, hits the egg or something. Well. Okay, she's playing rather defensively. That actually makes me a little happy. That probably means that she doesn't have any finisher in her hand. Right, because then... Wait, wouldn't she have lethal if she just gone for the... Like, attack with this one first? I guess she really didn't want it to end up uh, attacking that other one. Or maybe she has lethal anyway and she's just playing around? Let's see. Nope, okay. Well, she totally messed up her order here. Okay, I have done that myself many times, of course, but wow, yeah. Played this one after the fact, right? Uh, she was so close to killing us there. Thankfully, she didn't. So now we get another chance. Right, we get a taunt giver. That's good. Um, got this. this. This one, we can kind of ignore it and just hope for the best, right? So we want to kill as much of this other stuff as possible. This one, does it... doesn't really do that much. It does, no, we don't need that extra attack. Hmm. So, I want to play Kodo to kill that. And then uh, we kill... Maybe I should kill this one actually. It does more damage. And then I go for the face here. Okay. So then Yeah, hoping this one hits the egg. And then uh, maybe we can uh, survive. If it hits the taunt. Or the face, then we just toast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, it actually ended up being kind of close. But I couldn't quite get there. Okay, five wins. Just a little under what I guessed again. Unfortunately, would be nice with a good one. Oh well, let's uh, see what we get as our rewards here. Oh, Queen Ninja, of course, what else? Uh, let's see what we get our, in our packs here. Not the best. Alright, I think I'm going to take a little break from, uh, from Arena for now, but I'll be back eventually. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time. Bye bye!